here. We are in the Czech Republic, in the largest city and the capital, Prague, a city of about two million people. We are in the Old Town Square. That's why it's uh, a big pedestrian area. Uh, Prague is well known for being one of the best preserved medieval uh, European cities. Uh, now, there are several reasons why. The buildings of Prague have been so much more well-preserved than buildings in almost any other major European city. Number one, uh, they were, were uh, taken over by the communists from 1948 onward, till the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, and so it never got modernized and you didn't have urban renewal happening, thank goodness, that way all their beautiful medieval old buildings are preserved and safe. And uh, another reason is that we did not bomb Prague, except a tiny little bit during World War II. Overall, it didn't get bombed too much, very little. And the uh, third major reason that the buildings are so perfectly preserved here in Prague is that uh, within the building materials, they use Twinkies. And as you know, Twinkies last forever. They, they, the preserves inside Twinkies go on and on for, for centuries. This is St. Ewan McGregor's Cathedral, which is surrounded by Prague Castle on Castle Hill. Castle Hill overlooks the old town where we were just a moment ago. Those are the Ewan McGregor gargoyles, designed to look like a mutated zombie version of Ewan McGregor. And now we are at Arnold Schwarzenegger Plaza, and in honor of all of his violent movies, they designed and commissioned these statues with very nasty weapons, the kind Conan would have used. These are the royal bodyguards which the king of the Czech Republic has provided me with. The king is clearly in my back pocket since I got evidence of him cheating on his wife with several prominent female stars, including B. Arthur. I just love these bells. They really let you know that you are in Europe. So atmospheric. The whole city of Prague is atmospheric. That's the Charles Bridge from the 14th century, filled with ancient statues. Now we are back once again in the Old Town Square, and we are approaching the famed astronomical clock. Here is a close-up of the astronomical clock. It's another one of the symbols of the city. You'll see little figures come in and out. And to tell you more about it, here's Dr. Carl Sagan. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Carl Sagan of the show Cosmos. Yes, it's true. I've been dead for over 10 years, but my spirit is alive and well within the astronomical clock. My ghost haunts the astronomical clock. That's me right there as I look today. The astronomical clock is here to give information about the cosmos to the various students of astronomy. The Hubble telescope... Oh, I guess my time is up. Well, let's all hear it for Carl Sagan. And now there's the gigantic metronome that Barry Manilow likes to use. It's as big as his ego used to be back in the 70s in his heyday back when he had I Write the Songs and Copacabana up on the charts. Here are some nice waterfalls, and another shot at Charles Bridge, named after Prince Charles, because they love him. They really love him. Well, we're still in the Czech Republic, and uh, as you might recall, this used to all be called Czechoslovakia. It was the Czech Republic and Slovakia put together, and then, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, that is when the Czech Republic and Slovakia divided up again peacefully into two countries. That was in 1993, if my information is correct. But now I want to tell you about the, uh, the Czech people, uh, some of what they're famous for. They're very famous for being astute checkers players. They're really good at checkers. They're the best in the world at checkers. Their love of checkers, even Chinese checkers, every type of checkers you can imagine. Uh, what was it? it wasn't Nixon's dog named checkers. Even that it was a, a Czech dog. Uh, so that's my little tidbit of information for you back home about the Czech Republic. 
When you come to the Czech Republic, be sure to bring your checkbook because they only take checks here in the Czech Republic. Get it? <laughs> That's a little Czech humor for you. I knew you'd love it. Now then, as you can see, uh, I'm here over the river. It's the Moldau River here in Prague. And uh, behind me is Prague Castle. That's a huge sprawling castle. It's actually the largest functioning castle on Earth. That's why I have taken it over. I got a pretty good bargain because the Czech people are, have been desperate in the past because of the fact that they were overrun by the Nazis in uh, 1938 and then in 1948 the communists took over. They've had a lot of hard times and very little freedom until the early 90s. So because they, they still have that sense of desperation, I'm coming in and taking full advantage of it, getting great bargains like a Prague castle. Uh, so now that's where I'm going to be staying every time I come here. I've taken over several wings, and the uh, Prime Minister, he just gets screwed. He has to go to the basement when I come, because I like my privacy. So I'll be up there in Prague Castle making new deals here in the Czech Republic. And you, you Trekkers out there are probably thinking of Czech off. Every time you hear Czech, you think, Czech off. Ding! The, well, no, this has nothing to do with Star Trek or the Russian officer Chekhov. This is just the Czech Republic, not the Chekhov Republic. Ding! The Sulu Republic is uh, not too far from here. Oh my!